Welcome back. A White House official confirms Israel and Hamas have agreed to extend the ceasefire another two days. The announcement came on the final day of the initial four day truce in which Hamas released a number of hostages each day. Israel's military says the Red Cross confirmed 11 hostages were released today. The two sides paused fighting and allowed some humanitarian aid to enter Gaza. Nicole Senga shares the details. Eight-year-old Ella El Kayam and her 15-year-old sister Daphna embraced their mother Sunday for the first time since Hamas took them captive 51 days ago and killed their father. But Israel says another recently released hostage, 84-year-old Elma Evraham, is in critical condition after being deprived of her medicine for seven weeks. Right now she's struggling for her life. Hamas also released four-year-old American Israeli girl Abigail Moradan, whose parents were also killed in the October 7th attacks. I don't know if she know that she had no more father and mother. The White House says it welcomes the two-day extension of the humanitarian pause in Gaza in which Hamas has agreed to release another 20 women and children. We would, of course, hope to see the pause extended further uh, and that will depend upon Hamas continuing to release hostages. In the West Bank, Palestinians cheered as Palestinian prisoners returned home. As part of the ceasefire deal, Israel has released more than 100 Palestinian women and teenagers detained in Israeli jails before the war started. The truce has enabled the United Nations to deliver more desperately needed food, water and medicine to Gaza, although officials say it is still not even close to the amount of humanitarian aid needed in the war-torn territory. The White House says about eight, of nine, eight to nine U.S. citizens are believed to be among the hostages still being held in Gaza.